Welcome to Trade Pro. Here I have a very simple one indicator strategy that uses the Trade Pro Rejection Zone Indicator. It's a free indicator on TradingView, so I'll show you it in the indicator section in just a second. Um, but I'll be testing the strategy 100 times in a row, explaining the strategy, exactly what I'll be testing, and then testing it 100 times and showing all the results at the end of the video. Just giving a quick shout out to my affiliate, Capitalize.ai, and then getting into things. Capitalize allows traders to create and automate their trading strategies just by typing them out in plain English, no coding knowledge required. You can simulate, backtest, and deploy strategies all from your phone and all completely for free. Check it out with my link in the description down below to support the channel along with my other affiliates and Patreon page. Thank you. All right, so let's start with the indicator that's going to be used for this strategy, and it's going to be just one indicator alone that acts as the entry signal as well as the stop loss placement. So let's pull it up here. It's called the Trade Pro Rejection Zone Indicator. So if we type that in, we can see Trade Pro Rejection Zone Indicator by Strapfather, and it is a free trading view indicator. So you'll be able to find it in the public library. And currently, I do have default settings as far as the inputs go, although I have changed the style a little. I got rid of the visual for the slow and fast moving averages, um, but I just got rid of those because I just like having the green and red cloud as the visual. Um, as far as the inputs go, though, you can see defaults at 20 and 50. So essentially, this is a 20 and 50 period moving average or exponential moving average, I should say. Um, so that's the indicator and the only one that's going to be used here. So let's talk about what's the entry criteria. Um, how's the stop loss going to be placed? And there's actually uh, more than one entry criteria that I'm going to be using. Um, two kind of different setups, which I'll show right here. So first we have when price pulls back, we have a green cloud only looking for long positions. So price pulls back and it wicks through the green cloud. That is going to be an entry on the close of that candle. So we can see this pulls back, it touches, wicks through that green cloud, and then the entry is on the close of this red candle right here. Stop loss will be placed at the 50 period exponential moving average, which is just the bottom of the cloud. And then I'm going to be using a one to one risk to reward ratio. So this one we can see as a winner. And this one is exited on this first green candle here that hits the profit target. Next, we get another candle that comes down and wicks through the green can or the green cloud, I should say. And again, placing that stop loss to the bottom of the cloud using a one to one risk to reward ratio where the profit target is hit over here on this red candle. Right after that, we have another candle that goes through the cloud. And with this one, the wick actually goes below the cloud slightly. So when the wick of the entry candle goes below the cloud, stop loss will be placed below the wick of that entry candle. So that is a difference um, opposed to with these ones where the wick is much higher up in the cloud. This wick actually goes slightly below the cloud there, just below the 50 period uh, exponential moving average. So in those situations, the stop loss will be placed below the low of the wick of that entry candle and still targeting a one to one risk to reward ratio upon the close of that candle. Now we have another one over here where we see a wick through the cloud. The entry is on the candle close, stop loss to the bottom of the cloud, and this one does end up getting stopped out. And now there's another entry criteria here. So this one. When something like this happens and price comes below the cloud, the cloud stays green though, and then price comes back above the green cloud and closes above it. That is another type of entry with this strategy that I'll also be testing. So this one, we see that it comes down, stops out this position, but then the cloud stays green and price comes back up and closes above the cloud again. That is the entry candle. And with this one, we have the wick of that candle also going below the bottom of the cloud. So that's where the stop loss goes, the entry candles lowest point, and then still using that one to one risk to reward ratio. We have another one over here where price um, comes down into the cloud, wicks through it, and then upon the close of that candle, we have the entry stop loss on this one placed to the bottom of the cloud because the wick never goes below the cloud on that entry candle and targeting one-to-one -one where it is eventually hit over here. So we have another entry over here 
where price pulls back and closes inside of the cloud. It's still a valid entry. The close is within the cloud and stop loss still goes to the bottom of the cloud at the 50 EMA, still targeting a one to one risk to reward ratio. So there's a few different scenarios here that are all valid setup. So this kind of covers all of the different scenarios that you could see with this strategy and what I'll be testing. Um, and I'll go through a few different short entries um, so you can kind of just get the full picture and get a few more examples of trades. All right, let's go through a few short entries before getting into the 100 back-tested trades. So over here on the left, our first one, we have a wick through the cloud, and then the candle close is the entry price, stop loss being placed to the top of the cloud at the 50 exponential moving average, targeting one to one risk to reward ratio. Then we have our next one, another wick through the cloud, and we see, again, stop loss to the top of the cloud, one to one risk to reward ratio. And this one, this one's a loser. We see a big green candle right into the middle of the cloud, still an entry signal that I'll be testing, and then stop loss to the top of the cloud. This one gets stopped out shortly after. Um, and then this one here, we have the close back below the cloud. So price trades over the cloud and you have to wait until there's another close, the first close below the cloud again before there's the, the next entry. And that's this candle right here using a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. Then we have our final example here, another one wicks through the cloud here, stop loss to the top of the cloud, and then using a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. So plenty of short examples and long examples. And now I think that all makes sense. We'll get into the 100 back tests and go through all the results after that. Results are in after the 100 back tested trades. This one was tested on Bitcoin against the US dollar on a one hour time frame using a one to one risk to reward ratio. And it only took two months and nine days to find the 100 back tested trades, which is extremely low for a one hour time frame strategy test. If we compare it on the strategy ranking spreadsheet, which I'll look at in just a minute here, we'll see that most one hour time frame strategies take around four to six months of price data to find the 100 trades. Um, out of those 100 back tested trades, we had 61 winning trades and 39 losing trades. The most winning trades in a row was eight, and the most losing trades in a row was four. The gain on the account after the 100 back tested trades, 22% just assuming a risk of 1% of account equity per trade, also not compounding. Um, so this one did pretty well. Um, we can compare it to other strategy tests that were done using a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, but having a 61% win rate is very high and does give an edge in the market. So based on this specific set of tests, this one does perform extremely well. And again, we'll compare it on the strategy ranking spreadsheet here in just a sec. So I'll pop that on up now. All right, here it is on the strategy ranking spreadsheet falling at spot number 67 out of 90 strategies now tested on the channel. So this one, if we compare it to other one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio strategies, there's quite a few of them out there. We have this one with a 59% win rate. Uh, we can kind of scroll down the list. This one, 53%. So this one didn't do so well. Um, a couple above here with 62. So very comparable, just a different set of price data will make that difference. Um, here's one with 63% on a one hour time frame as well. Uh, let's see if we have any more up above here. Uh, doesn't seem to have any this high up on the ranking spreadsheet. So generally using a one to one risk to reward ratio as just a strict risk to reward ratio, you're not going to see massive returns. Normally having those higher risk to reward ratios, one to two, they tend to get those higher gain on account figures. Um, but for one to one, this one falls in that kind of normal range, um, if not doing a little bit better than some of the other ones. But this one definitely gives you an edge in the market. And you know, it's not the end all be all using a one to one strict risk to reward ratio. You can use trade management practices like moving the stop loss to break even, try different risk to reward ratios. 
This is just a standard and simple test of this strategy. So there's many different things that you can alter with it, like the stop loss placement and moving around the stop loss, maybe moving it to break even, using a trailing stop loss, or even changing the take profit strategy where you use a multi-stage take profit method. Um, there's many different things that you can do to mess around with it and increase the results. But uh, for this one, gives you an edge in the market based on this test. So I'd call it a successful test. Not to mention for a one hour time frame strategy, this definitely was on the low end in terms of how long it took to find the 100 trade signals at two months and nine days. That is on the low end. We can take a look at some other ones um, where it takes nine months, six months, um, probably a couple more up here, 19 months, 16 months, um, 11 years. Um, so yeah, there's, you know, for a one hour time frame strategy, I think this is uh, the shortest amount of time to find the 100 back tested trades, which actually makes this strategy um, quite promising. So definitely worth looking into further. I'll probably have a follow up video uh, testing with a different risk to reward ratio or maybe a stop loss. Uh, moving to break even method um, to kind of see how that alters the results. But um, that's it for this one. Make sure to check out my Patreon page, link in the description down below, learn my personal trading strategy, access three custom indicators and 19 trading scripts, along with my other affiliate links in the description down below. But thank you guys for watching and have a great day.